it's Lindsay. Welcome back to The Wandering Reader. Today I'm going to be showing you all of the books that I currently have out from the library. So I have seven to talk to you about today, so let's jump in. The first book that I want to talk to you about today is Shopaholic Abroad by Sophie Kinsella. This is the second book in the Shopaholic series. Um, I got this out because this is on my TBR for the Chick Litterthon and um, this basically follows a character called Becky who is a shopaholic and um, book one was all about her getting to grips with her problem and things like that and in this one I think she goes to New York so love New York so I, I'm, I think I'm really going to love that setting. Um, not sure what the second book will bring but I'm excited to read it. Second book that I have out from the library is What I Know For Sure and this is by Oprah Winfrey. Um, I got this out because, um, well basically I didn't realise that Oprah Winfrey had written any books and then I got an email from Audible to say that her new book was being released on Audible and I sort of thought oh new book I didn't know she had any books and um, so I looked up from my library which books I could get from her and I could get this one and um, all this says on the back, there's just a quote from her that says, I know for sure your journey begins with the choice to get up, step out and live fully. So that's what it says. I believe it's some kind of self-help book, which I'm not really one for reading many of those, but I love Oprah Winfrey. So, and this isn't particularly long. It's just over 200 pages. So, and look, the font is like really massive and it's like a little book. So... Yeah, I'm hoping I will like her writing. Next up, I have The Winner's Curse, and this is by Marie Rakowski. Rakowski. Um, this is one that I picked up because Lisa from Books and Smiles, um, she did a video at the end of 2018 where she talked about a series that she'd read and really enjoyed, and this was one of the series, and obviously this is a bit of a booktube favourite um, in terms of that. Um, this is, I believe, some sort of like YA fantasy series, so it says on the back, um, as a general's daughter in a vast empire that revels in war and enslaves those it conquers, Kestrel has two choices, she can join the military or get married, Kestrel has other ideas. One day she is started to find a kindred spirit in Arin, a young slave up for auction. Following her instinct, Kestrel buys him, and for a sensational price that sets the society gossips talking. It's not long before she has to hide her growing love for Arin, but he too has a secret, and Kestrel quickly learns that the price she paid is much higher than she ever could have imagined. That sounds really intriguing, and this is the first book in a trilogy, so I'm hoping I enjoy it. Next up is a Sarah Morgan book. This is The Rebel Doctor's Bride by Sarah Morgan. This is the third book in the Glenmore Island Doctor series or something kind of along those lines. Um, this is, I think, I believe just a trilogy um, and it follows this remote Scottish island and some of the doctors that work on it basically. And this is the third book in that trilogy. So as you know, I've been working my way through Sarah Morgan's back catalogue and this is a continuation of that. The next one that I want to talk to you about today is Sworn to Silence and this is by Linda Costello. Um, this is one that I've heard a couple of people talk about but most recently Sarah from Steeped in Books, she put this on her TBR for Our Mission April and although I didn't participate in that I was quite intrigued by the premise of this one. Um, so this is a thriller and it's the first book in a series written by Linda Castillo um, that is set in Amish country. Um, so this says on the back, in Painters Mill, Ohio, the Amish and English have lived side by side for two centuries but 16 years ago a series of brutal murders shattered the community. Kate Burkholder, a young Amish girl, survived the terror of the slaughterhouse killer but came away with the realisation that she can no longer be belong with the Amish. Now a wealth of experience later, Kate returns as chief of police. She's certain she's come to terms with her past until the first body is discovered in a snowy field. Kate vows to stop the killer but to do so she must betray both her family and her Amish past. So it sounds really really good. I don't really know an awful lot about sort of Amish culture and things like that so I think this will be quite a good uh, place to learn a little bit more about that um, and I've since heard Sarah say that she really enjoyed this book so yeah looking forward to getting into it. Next up I have to show you You Will Know Me by, by Megan Abbott. Um, this is a thriller I believe um, and I have this massive sort of like wish list on my library sort of account and 
how am I going to get back through all of the books on here? Not that I need to get through them, but do you know what I mean? Like, they're on there for a reason. So, yeah, I was sort of, um, I ordered one from the very end of my list and then one from the very beginning of my list, and it's obviously in South Alphabetical Order. So this was the first book on the list. Um, and this says on the back, Katie and her husband have made their daughter Devon the centre of their world. Um, talented, determined, a rising gymnastics star, they've always put her first and want her to succeed at any cost. When a young man dies in a shocking hit and run, the close-knit community is left reeling and Katie can't help seeking answers. What Was it simply a tragic accident or is someone lying? When the tree threatened to destroy the future she has sacrificed everything for, Katie discovers there's nothing she wouldn't do to protect her family. A mother knows best, doesn't she? Oh, that sounds really chilling. So, yeah, I've not read anything by Megan Abbott before, but interested to give that one a go. And then lastly, I have here Winter in Paradise by Ellen Hildebrand. I have had this out from the library before, but I've had to take it back before I've had a chance to read it. So this is basically, I think, like a chick lit book, but it's also sort of like a thriller that's set on a tropical island. So um, it says on the back, Irene Steele's life is idyllic until it's rocked by a late night phone call that brings news of her husband's sudden death. Even in the midst of her crippling grief, Irene cannot get one question out of her head. Why was his body found on St John, a tropical Caribbean paradise, far removed from their suburban life? Leaving the cold Nantucket winter behind, Irene flies hundreds of miles to get to the island, only to learn that her husband had a secret second family. As she delves deeper into the mysterious circumstances surrounding the death of the man she loved, she's plunged into a web of intrigue and deceit belied by the pristine white sandy beaches of St John. So I like the idea of the setting in this one, but also I like the mystery surrounding it. Um, and I believe this is also the first book in a series and the second book comes out, um, I think towards the end of this year. I'm, I can't be 100% positive on that, but I think it does. Um, so yeah really intrigued about that too. So there we go guys, those are all of the books that I currently have out from the library. Um, not a huge selection now, I'm trying to be a bit more selective when it comes to which ones um, I get out, I sort of order and things like that. So um, yeah, so that I don't have a massive pile of them every time because what happens is I don't read them and then I take them back. <laughs> I mean, there's nothing wrong with that whatsoever because I can just order them again, obviously. But um, yeah, I'm trying to kind of be more selective and have a smaller pile of library books so that, um, you know, I've got more chance of actually reading them, basically. So I'd love to have a chat with you in the comments below. Have you read any of these books? What did you think of them? Thanks very much for watching and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.